But do you remember a young female that would be jumping around being goofy? She mm. just... <laughs> she's like... She just pointed. And there's this young female dancing around, being a total goofball, having a really good time. I don't know if she's leaping in the air and trying to dance or what, but she's like... Just like dancing around. I wish I had those skills, I'm just saying. <laughs> but she's like pointing at her. So you understand this other female who's bringing forward? Okay. She's like, she's in, she's like, come on. <laughs> she's telling her to stop prancing around at the back. <laughs> oh, bless her. Oh. It's almost like she can fly in the way she was leaping up. She was really high off the ground. Um, okay. All right. She's getting ready to step back to let this female come in. Is there anything you want to ask her though before I transition? Okay. Okay, she just wanted to remind you, please tell them that I love them, she said. She really wants to make sure that her family knows how much she loves them, okay? Okay, I suddenly feel like I've got hands in the pants as I'm shifting over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't, I can't sit still. So sometimes I say I, meaning them, because I will feel things in my body. But do you understand this young thing or not to be able to sit still? Because I feel like... You know, like, she kind of reminds me of myself to a certain degree, to a certain degree, like, oh, look, there's a squirrel, I'm going to go chase that squirrel. Like, distracted at times, can't focus on one thing, you know, a bit all over the place. But she's very smiley, and... Did, did you know this female to have ever done dance or gymnastics? She loved dancing. Because I feel like she just... Okay, I don't know if this is a pose that you would know. I'm going to... I know how it looks in my head. My interpretation is going to look very contemporary. <laughs> but she's got her arms up and then there's a kick and her knees bent and her kick, legs going up. Do you know of a picture that, or like a pose that's been taken in a photo like this? I do not. Because I just saw like this. You know? Like I feel like, I just want to dance. I just want to dance. That's what I want to do. Yeah. You know? Um... Like, her skills, I think, were pretty good when she was hit. They're even better on the other side. Just saying. Um, now, it's interesting, though, with her different feeling physically, um, I still, I, it's funny, not, in, not the same as I felt for the older female, but with her, my chest is a little bit tight. My throat's very closed up, though, as well. Like, this is very restricted right here. Can you understand this? It's it's like this is cut off. This is, this is like, right here. So it sounds weird the way I'm describing it. My head feels very fuzzy. But her passing feels really quite quick. Can you understand that? It's like, this is not long, it doesn't take long. She transitions very quickly. And by the way, she was not alone because she shows me all the other loved ones on the other side picking her up. So she's, you know, she's getting picked up very quickly. She's showing me, I'm just like, just like oh, okay, fine. She's saying she was stubborn at times, okay? And uh, she didn't like what she was hearing. She's she showed me either yelling or getting upset. Can you understand that? It's like the people that care about her. She'd probably make you her enemy if she wasn't happy. She'd just be up. You know, it's almost like how a typical team would respond. Yes. Don't tell me how to do something because I'm going to do it my way. Yeah. And that's that. Um, she's got that kind of not I'm invincible, but it almost feels like she's. That's how she sees herself, you know? Would you understand pressure going to this area specifically? You understand that? Okay. It's like everything's just closing up. Where as she starts to, to transition, she's, she's looking back at everything, she's like, ugh. She's like, oh, there was so much things I was supposed to be doing. 
and she, you know, I, I feel a lot of remorse with her and she acted a lot on emotions, yes. you know, there wasn't really clear thinking with her when she was in that emotional state she was in it. You couldn't talk her out of that space, there's just no one could have done. And would you understand sometimes she would try to make, try to give the impression that she was doing better than she was, that she was always okay, you know, it's like keeping up appearances. Um, and do you know if she had a little bit of heartbreak before she passed? Yes. You know, like a relationship breakup or something like that, you understand that? <sighs> she's making me feel like she's, she's giving me this feeling like she felt like she was treated unfairly, do you know if she was? Did she, would you be aware that she kept quiet on certain things about that? Because I feel like I'm being, she's being strategic in how much she shares, you know? Like she, she's showing me like if there was things she didn't want to talk about, you know? She said she had rose tinted glasses. Rose tinted glasses. Do you know this? Yes. Yeah. She had the machine. She couldn't see clearly, her discernment skills weren't the best. Who she is was a big love bug. There's a lot of love in there. And she showed me that I feel like she always, even the people that weren't good for her, she had a lot of love for. And she just couldn't see what was healthy, what was not unhealthy, what wasn't, un what wasn't healthy. You know what I'm saying, sorry. Um, Can you understand? She's one. Of, she's making me look at you with this. She's saying she knows that sometimes you would have been hard on her, and she's apologising for reacting the way that she would have done. Can you understand that? She understands now why. She gets it now. She really does. But in her state of mind at that point, it's she's all you know. She's in her own little world. You know, it's a very small space. she's acknowledging that she would have said some things out of spite would you understand that she really she really wishes she hadn't said those things she didn't mean them she absolutely didn't mean them she I was just hurt and she didn't know how to deal with how her her feelings were can you understand why there would be some absence Sadness in relation to mum. Like, <sighs> There's some sadness there. Like she's making me give me this feeling. Are you mum to her? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what she would be like? Was there a moment like? Wait, I, I don't feel like it was right before she passed. It feels like it, maybe six months or a year before that. Like there would have been a bit of an upset. Like, like an argument, something like that. Okay. Like she argued with me or I argued with her? She's making me feel like as if she might have said some things. But this wasn't right before the passing, it feels like a bit before then. Maybe, but I can't remember. Okay. So. It's like she's giving this feeling like when you're in trouble and you're fighting back. Oh. That, that, that's for like retaliation words, mm -hmm. is how this feels. And she keeps showing me a young male on the earth plane connected as well to this. Can you understand that? And she wants to make sure that she brings him into this. Okay. And can you understand where the L made connection to somebody in connection with her? Like a friend or someone else? Someone with an L name. She knew so many people. I don't know. Um, okay. I'm sure she had lots of they all name people that she knew. Okay. If it pops up, you'll know. That's her way of acknowledging them as well, okay? She wants to make sure that you guys know that she loves you dearly. She really does. She wasn't afraid to show that 
in your younger years. I feel like later on it got a little bit difficult, you know. Do you know if there was a letter from her? No poetry, no writing. I see like there's writing of hers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She might have wrote like in a journal, like letters and things like that, you know. Really creative soul. Besides the dance, like if she wanted to be a painter, she could. There's so much that she could do. She still got given the sign of a rainbow. Did anyone see a rainbow right around the service or her passing? Yeah, because that's a sign from her, okay? And she's wanting to show me a picture of her when there would have been a vacation. And that's the picture she loves. And it feels like it's outside. And I do feel like there's water nearby in this photograph. Do you know of a trip close to water by lake or ocean? It's a really good memory of hers. So oh, you are always that side my water. So, <laughs> could be any <laughs> time. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> well, then, this is her acknowledgement of those memories because she showed me that the, there's water in, like close by. It's an outdoor picture, like either just everyone's just about to eat, the photo's taken, or you know, it's like family gathering. Like, those are her fond memories. Okay. That's what she loves. And then she's showing, showing she's doing this and pointing into the water. Did you do anything by the water for her? She's showing me as if there's part of her in the water. Oh. Like, that's her happy place. So if no, nobody has done anything specifically, she's showing me the connection for that with her. And this friends did something by the water for her or something too. Possibly, yeah. I'm always around water, so uh, that's like... And then she's showing me a connection of her on the necklace too. Okay, do you understand if anybody has something of hers or put something of hers on a necklace? Yeah, because she wants to go into the connection of her with that too. She said she's sorry for being so stubborn. And she said she's sorry for not listening. Um, she said she would have done it differently if she could do it again. She would have done. But um, she she's wants to really acknowledge that she really is happy on the other side. She really is. The fact that she came in dancing is a really big sign. <laughs> she loves performing. She just does, you know. Um, there's someone else who has the same interests as her that's still on the earth plane. And she said she often helps them with their own inspiration. It's another female figure, okay? A younger female figure. And she also wants to acknowledge something being done of, with her clothing. Did a, anybody turn like a piece of her clothing into something else? She so, shows me something being done with her clothing. I haven't done anything personally. People have wanted to. Oh, so maybe that's her way of acknowledging yes to that because she's showing her clothing either being sewed together, turned into something else, maybe like a quilt or pillow, mm -hmm. and she's she's excited about that. So if you decide to allow that to happen, then she's super happy about that too. Okay. And she's saying, thank you for celebrating my birthday. So I don't know if her birthday had come and gone already, but she's saying, did you guys celebrate that too? Because she said, thank you for that. She was there, okay? But she really wants to make sure that you understand and know that she's all right. She's really okay. And she's sorry she couldn't stay, and that she couldn't be here. But really honestly know that she's in a safe place and she wants to make sure you guys know that. And she just keeps doing this. She's like, I am so sorry for having an attitude. Because <sighs> she's like, she knows she was a bit of a nightmare, to be fair. <laughs> you understand that? And she really wants to apologise for that. She really wasn't confident. She had like just an attitude. Right. Typical attitude. Yeah. But she feels guilty. She feels bad about it. 
because she now realises those moments could have been so much used in such better ways to communicate. And she's like, sometimes I took it out on others. She really does want to admit that. It's like, I'm sorry, that wasn't fair. And she's not just you though, like friends too. So I don't know if friends had a couple of moments with her, but I mean, who doesn't, right? And you would have seen her. She's giving me this feeling like you actually felt her presence come into a room or you saw something in like your peripheral vision. Do you understand that and know that? No. Because she said, that was me. So you, you might have second guessed it a little bit, but you're like, huh, I swear I just felt her. I swear I just saw her. And she's like, that was me. Okay. It's easy put to your imagination, very easily done. But she's like, no, 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 that was me. So she was that. Okay. And if there's any dogs around, the dogs will see her too. Okay, so that's a big confirmation. But she just released a whole bunch of butterflies and those are big signs from her as well, besides the rainbows. And then she just showed me a butterfly being on somebody's skin. Did someone get a tattoo of a butterfly? Okay, check in with that too, all right? She keeps showing me this L name. It's like an L, I feel like, maybe I'm seeing initials L-E or E-L. Or it's like a L-E sounding name or an E-L sounding name, but now I keep seeing L and an E together. But, but she's acknowledging that the L-E or like either two initials or the name with that kind of sound. Okay. <laughs> but she just pulled you guys in for the tightest of hugs. And I don't know if you, you would now remember this, but <sighs> it reminds me of how toddlers are. <laughs> you know if a little kid holds onto your leg and they don't let go and you have to like, <sighs> yeah. she's showing me doing that <laughs> and not letting go and you're trying to get stuff done. <laughs> and she's smiling and that's like a funny memory for her. can't hold on to her for much longer though because she wants to just go dance that's what she wants to do um so she's yeah she's really making a good a good space for herself and i don't know why or if this was any of interest in her when she was on the earth plane but she's almost acting as like a substitute teacher or a teacher on the other side because <laughs> she's like yeah, she's uh, she's showing me helping in an outdoor classroom mm -hmm. and helping other souls that have transitioned. So she's doing a lot of work with kids on the other side. She's got a role to play now. Oh, she loves teaching them art. Yes. That's her favourite thing. <laughs> That's her favourite thing. And if a picture should draw your attention like a piece of artwork, you know, oh, that's weird, that's not usually my taste. Why am I drawn to this? She's picking it out. So you may just end up with a house full of unusual artwork, I don't know, but <laughs> she's pointing that out. <laughs> okay, she's blowing kisses up, no, that means she's getting ready to leave. So is there anything you want to ask her before I let her step back? She doesn't want you guys to be sorry that she's gone. She's really okay. That's really important for her. She's still getting to lead, excuse me, lead a life. It's just different, yeah. you know. And she she keeps an eye on the young ones, any young ones that are still on the earth plane. She keeps an eye on them and looks after them a lot. And if there's a song in the car that you can't stand but she likes, she's like, don't switch, don't turn it off, let it play. Because <laughs> that's her communicating as well. Okay. So, do you have any questions? Can there be any question? I guess, yeah. Let's we'll see what she responds to. Yeah. Oh, she just gave you a tighter hug and said, I'm sorry again. 
She, as soon as you said that, I suddenly felt like manipulation. Do you notice know it was manipulation? Because she makes me feel like she's not thinking straight. Like she can't, she doesn't know what's real, what it isn't. It's, okay. I'm getting a sensation, she's like, yeah, you can say that. Because these are my words, not hers. So I was just checking with her, she's like, no, you can say that. So she's given me this feeling that I, it's something I went through personally, which was narcissistic abuse. I don't know if you guys saw that. Because and she's let me explain how it felt. You don't know who you are. You question yourself. You question your insanity. And if they can't, if some, if a narcissist cannot control you, they control how other people see you. Thank you. And she just showed me friends leaving. Did her friendship suffer because of this that you're aware of? Yeah. So then she was, how she was getting told to see others was changing. And how others were looking at her was changing. It was isolation. A lot of isolating. So that's what she showed me with this. Now I understand why you guys found me. Because they choose who they want to work with. Now that I understand especially with that question, I've gone through what she's gone through, so it makes sense, You, because I went through those moments and those thoughts of, maybe I don't want to stay here anymore. It tears you apart, so I understand it. So this is what she's allowed me to share with you guys. It's just you're not in the right mind. You don't know who you are anymore. It doesn't feel like it, th there's no fathomable reason as to why, it's just, it's like, you constantly getting gaslighted to believe in a certain thing, to feel a certain way, you know? But she doesn't hold any blame, though. She said she didn't know herself well enough. But she always, I don't know if you noticed, she would always pick up so, like, I, this is my term, strays, so to speak. So whether it's a stray animal or a friend that needs help that is not good to be around, or a relationship that's not good that doesn't, doesn't need to be around, she just was, it's like a moth to a flame. Oh, I'm gonna attract you in my life. I'm gonna attract you into my life. It's just, that's who she was. She was quite an intuitive soul too, very intuitive. And most empaths do attract those kind of people in their life, unfortunately. I don't know why, just do it. But I hope that makes sense. And I think, okay, yeah, the, the, the fear is that no one's going to believe you if you're going through something like that. Because it's not physical. Can I ask one more question? I don't, it doesn't give me that feeling, it's more like a lot of emotional and mental, just a lot of manipulation, like I feel like, like she suddenly gave me a feeling of, I don't feel beautiful enough, I don't feel this enough, like it's my fault because of this, that or the other, it's, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a self, uh, sabotaging experience based upon what's been said to her you know that's how this feels yes. like so if she ever got insecure about how she looked and wanted to change things that's why yeah but um she's not sharing anything else other than that kind of abuse with me it's so destructive sometimes it's worse and harder than physical because physical it shows there's emotional scars with this stuff um, but she's saying that other person's unhappy too you know they've got their own stuff and that's why they do what they do but she said she wasn't the first person do you know if someone else had had a relationship with them and it fell apart I think he's done it to two other people yeah because she's saying I'm not the only one mm -hmm. if there's anything she would suggest to that person is to get help But she said, I'm okay now. She doesn't want you to worry. She's okay now. She's okay. She just was out of sorts. She wasn't herself. Seeing who she was, that's who she was. When she came in dancing, that's who she really is. 
you know? But she just got into a bad situation. But, you know. But she doesn't want you to put too much emphasis on that person and more on maybe helping others that go through that kind of abuse and how to help others with that. It's more rampant than we know. Yeah. For men and women, really. A lot of people go through it. Yeah. You're right, if I let them go then. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me because that's how she stepped forward with all those colours, you know? She's, she's silly. She's very, a lot of joy to be around, you know? But she's doing all right, okay? I'm going to close that door. All right. And do you know the retriever on the other side? Because she's she just walked off with the retriever. <laughs> so her and the retriever are hanging out. So I just had to quickly. Animals always come in at the end, so I just had to acknowledge that the dog was there too. Okay. So that yeah, they're hanging out together. They're good. All right. Sorry. But you're good. This is the place. Yeah, that's why I have my kids right here. <laughs> I came prepared. <laughs> I'm gonna close this up.